Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to apply the unique function to multiple columns of a data frame in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with the lines 3 to 5 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see that at the top right of RStudio a new data frame object appears which is called data and if you click on this data frame you can see the structure of our data frame in a new window and as you can see our input data frame consists of six rows and three columns x1, x2 and x3. Now let's assume that we want to remove all rows from our data frame where the columns x1 and x2 are unique. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 7 and in this line of code I'm applying the unique function to a subset of our data frame and we are specifying that this subset should consist of the columns x1 and x2 and if you run the whole line of code you can see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of RStudio which is called data unique and if you click on this data frame you can see that a new window appears and as you can see our new data frame consists of only four rows so we have removed some duplicate rows from our data frame and you can also see that our final data frame contains only the two columns x1 and x2 so the two columns that we have used to identify unique rows. So in this first example I have explained how to apply the unique function to multiple columns of our data frame. However it is also possible to apply the duplicated function to remove duplicated rows and this code that I'm showing in line 9 in the next example of this video will lead to a slightly different data frame. So for that reason I want to show you this second example as well. And in this example I'm using the duplicated function and in front of the duplicated function I'm specifying this bang sign to tell R that I want to keep only rows that are not duplicated. And then again I'm specifying that I want to search for duplicate rows based on the columns x1 and x2. So if you run line 9 of the code you can see that another data frame appears at the top right of RStudio which is called data duplicated and if you click on this data frame you can see that we have created another output data frame and as you can see this data frame contains exactly the same rows as our previous data frame that we have created based on the unique function. However this time we have kept all columns of our data frame. So depending on if you want to keep all columns of a data frame or only some columns of the data frame, you may prefer to use the unique function or the duplicated function. So in this video I have explained how to apply the unique and duplicated functions to multiple columns of our data frame. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.